Hotlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a home decor haul. Number one, because I've always been into decorating my home. I get it from my mom. She's like the number one loves to decorate type of person. So I am the same way, I guess. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jem Yell. If you're a long time subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today I bring you guys a home decor haul because I've recently gone crazy with decorating my home. We've been in this apartment for about three years, maybe possibly going on four if we don't decide to move within the next couple of months. Um, but I feel like I'm never done decorating. Like I get tired of seeing something after a year or so, then I just want to change everything. We did that recently with our living room and now I'm doing it in the kitchen. We have a pretty large kitchen for an apartment, thankfully. And the style that it is now, like a not really feeling it anymore. I want more of a earthy aesthetic type of look with nice earthy tones and stuff like that. So I wanted to share you guys a few things that I picked up to completely make over my kitchen and I will post a kitchen makeover video after this but I wanted to show you guys what I got because it's kind of a lot of stuff and um, some things that I you know picked up along the way just for around the house as well. So first I will start with, where did I get everything from? There's stuff from Amazon, Marshalls, Ross, and Home Goods and Target. Oh my gosh, I went to a lot of places. Closest to me is Home Goods, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the Home Goods items. So first is this vase right here. Um, I thought this was so cute. It's like textured, if you can see. I believe it is ceramic. I Well, first of all, let me start with the shape of it. I love how it's kind of like oblong and like egg shaped and I love the little feet on it. It's like a cream color. And this vase was only $9.99. It didn't have a price on it, so they just found something similar and gave it to me for $9.99. I thought that was a ridiculously good price for a vase this large. Uh, usually these are like maybe 16 and up, but they gave it to me for $9.99. So awesome deal there i picked up a another vase this one was $14.99 and again it has like a gray kind of like a taupey color and a cream on the top i thought this was just so pretty it goes with the whole earthy vibes that i'll probably say earthy like a thousand times in this video so forgive me from now please so yeah, this is the vibe that I'm going for. And I'll probably put these two vases, that one you just saw and this one together. You'll see it in the video, but I just thought how freaking adorable was this. I got another vase. This one is very cream and taupe and it has a print up here. Another ceramic vase. Um, you know that stubborn part, like we have like this open gap between the ceiling and the actual cabinets. And up there, it's kind of like, I don't know, like country living kind of style, which I don't know why I decorated it like that. That's really not even the look that I usually go for. Uh, maybe because I just wanted to fill the spot quickly. I mean, it's nice for some, but it's just not my style anymore. Um, so all these vases and things that I'm showing you, a lot of these things that I'm showing you are gonna be going up there. I thought this was really nice, very earthy. It gives me that earthy vibe that I'm going for. So these are the three vases that I picked up to go up there that I'm about to break apparently. I also <laughs> picked up these hand towels. Well, these were made in Turkey. So they were a pack of three for $9.99. Um, the color is nice. They're really thick. They're a good quality. They're not like those really thin hand towels. I use hand towels all the time in the kitchen and I like to hang them on the handle in front of the stove. Some people hate that, but I don't mind it. Kind of gives it a cozy vibe to me. Plus it's something I'm always reaching for, especially after I wash dishes or something. So yeah, these hand towels, again, the same kind of tones that I'm going for. Next. Okay, so I got two bowls. They could be used as fruit bowls or like, I don't know, but I'm not gonna use them for fruit. They're literally just for decoration. So first is this heavy wood bowl right here. I loved it the second I saw it. I'm gonna have to take off that sticker. Um, this one was $16.99. 
and I thought it was a great price for the quality of this bowl. It's a solid wood bowl, and I love the different patterns of the wood on it. I thought this was just so, so nice, and it's like really heavy. But yeah, again, a nice piece of decoration. I picked up another bowl. This one is black, and I like the vibe of this bowl. This was made in India, and I just like these little kind of, I like the pattern around the bowl. It's not just like a plain black bowl, and it's a pretty decent size, obviously, compared to my head. And it's not like too deep to where I can't like stand it up against the wall. Uh, which is probably what I'm going to do or I may get a bowl stand. I'm not sure I thought this was a pretty nice piece and I'm gonna throw in black aside from the earthy tones because I have some black appliances that are on the countertop and the dishwasher microwave stove and our fridge is like uh, stainless steel and black so I just threw some black in there to kind of stick with that theme the next piece is this wooden tray right here I love okay so the tray is $16.99. I just love this pattern on the sides or around all the edges of this tray. It is a pretty big solid wood tray. And I think this is going to go so beautifully with this bowl right in front of it, kind of like to the corner like that. Like I already put this stuff together in my head and I know how it's gonna look and it's gonna look freaking amazing. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. It was just so cool. And this is gonna look really nice standing up like this on its side yeah it's still sticking with home goods um and i have a couple items left from home goods actually i have a, quite a few i didn't realize how much shopping i did so i'm looking at all this crap in front of me okay i do have quite a bit from home goods but if you love to decorate you love home goods like you have to love home goods i got these two agave type of uh faux plants this one was 16.99 I believe this one was the same price. I don't see a price tag on it. I think these are both $16.99. They're that gray um, concrete type of looking bowl, but I love the pattern that's on this one. And I love the pattern that's on this one as well. I thought these are just gonna be so cute up there. And that kind of desert agave looking plant is very modern and earthy. Earthy, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put these together. I just thought these were so cute and they're gonna look great. In the kitchen not a decor item more of a uh, food storage but y'all know home goods is good for like the airtight uh containers so i got these two cereal holders these are specifically for cereal or dried foods um i got these from home goods they're not by oxo i believe they're by flip flip tight uh, i took off the prices but these were 9.99 each and they are pretty big it holds a regular box size of cereal uh probably not the family size but the regular box it holds so i got two of these guys some of my favorite cereals they're just the airtight containers and this flips up like this and if you know about airtight containers 9.99 for a cereal container is pretty decent i believe the oxo containers that look pretty much identical to this um they start at like i believe it's like 17.99 and up so these were each $9.99 if you can get your hands on them. They usually have stuff like this at Home Goods all the time. The last three items I got from Home Goods are decor pieces and they are lanterns. So the first one I got is this big gold lantern. I love it. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the frame. Wait, okay. This big gold lantern, I love this so much. I'm gonna put this under the console table in our little entryway. This lantern was $49.99, made in India. Uh, very good quality, it's heavy and sturdy. And I just love the design of this. If you are into decorating, you know that Restoration Hardware has similar items like this for like hundreds and thousands of dollars. So this was only 50 bucks. Thought this was pretty good and it's a really good size. Obviously, I'm probably gonna put like a LED pillar candle here at the bottom. I thought this was just so nice. I only needed one of these. This was the first lantern that I got. This thing is like super heavy. Lastly, I got these two matching lanterns here. I love to do like a tall and a small and maybe a smaller. That's like 
my thing. I don't know why. Um, so I got this giant freaking lantern. This one was $60 or $59.99 um, at Home Goods. It has a nice big, um, I don't know what you call this, like a, <laughs> a handle right here. And it has gold detail up here and the rest is silver with glass. I'm also going to fill these with the um, LED pillar candles. Um, I got to be careful because I can scratch the shit out of myself with this. So this one is the ginormous size. Um, obviously, you see I am sitting on my couch and it is taller than me. So this one is the really big one. But again, 60 bucks. Similar stuff at other stores, super duper expensive. This says it was only $100 originally, but sometimes their original prices, they be kind of off too. Let me see if I can show you the bottom. This is what the bottom of it looks like. It's just a clear glass with a door that opens right here. So this is the jumbo size, I guess you would call that. And then they only had two sizes. So this is the smaller size. These were made in India as well. Um, this one here was how much? $49.99. Um, again, it's a really good price because it is an amazing quality lamp. Uh, same handle, same gold detail. And this one is a pretty decent size as well, as you can see. Uh, the same door that opens right here where I put the candles in. And I thought these were just so beautiful to go inside my home, like on the side of the TV, like around the TV unit. These are gonna go right beside each other with candles in them. I thought these were so nice and they were such a good deal. And I just love how glam they are. They're like modern, but glam because like the shininess. I love shiny things. What girl doesn't like shiny things? I love shiny things. So that was it for home goods. Um, I didn't realize I had that much stuff, but I guess I had that much stuff. I picked up one thing from Marshalls that I love so much. I was looking for a mirror to go in my dining room because um, I have like this bull head thing with like a frame around it, but I'm not feeling it anymore. So I'm gonna replace it with this big round mirror with the Shit. All right, this is a much better angle. So yes, as you can see, this round mirror is just a big round mirror. Um, and I like how it has the silver trim because I have silver trim in my dining room area. Throughout my house, I have like gold and silver. I like, I don't mind mixing metals. I used to hate mixing metals, but these days I don't mind mixing metals. It's obviously dirty. I'm going to clean it. This is gonna go in the dining room. I love this mirror so much and I thought it was such a steal at $39.99 for this size mirror. Just to give you an idea of how big it is, uh, it is a 30 inch by 30 inch mirror, or 30 inches in diameter. So yeah, I just thought this was so beautiful. I love it so much. This is so weird seeing myself right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. The next few items are from Target. Who doesn't love Target for decor? I got these two faux ferns. These are again going in the kitchen um, on the space above the cabinet between the ceiling and the cabinet. I thought these were really nice. The vase is ceramic and it's like an off-white color versus just a stark white. Again, earthy toned. And I just like the way these faux ferns look. They're gonna fill up the space nicely up there because they're not that small. I just decided to get two of these because I love some greenery, but not like overdone greenery. I know they kind of look overdone, but you'll see when I decorate how nice they look up there. So yeah, I just got two of these. These were $14.99 each, and I still see them in stores now. So you should be able to get your hands on these if you want these, and they look semi-natural they don't look extremely plastic and fake so i like these i also got two rugs from target i like having rugs in the kitchen in front of the stove and in front of the sink these were like perfect when i say like perfect they're like all the colors that i needed these are by the brand threshold at target and i love that they have like this darker kind of brown trim around it and then like this beige color in the middle and it's just a very simple pattern and print that goes with my theme. These accent rugs were $9.99 each. It doesn't have a price tag on them but I'm pretty sure I remember that being the price and again these are by the brand Threshold. I love these so much. They're gonna go perfectly with my decor and I got um, again I got two of them because I need two of them. So from Target, I haven't set it up yet, but it's one of these expandable under the sink storage shelves. I hate how like 
sinks do not have shelves underneath them you're just left with all that empty space between the sink and like the floor of the cabinet and there's like so much extra storage space that you can fill up so i'm going to try this i'm not sure how i'm gonna like it the only thing i'm concerned about is it doesn't have like something in the back to keep your items from like falling back uh, to the back of it but we'll see how it works this is also by the brand uh threshold at target and this i believe was 30 dollars no price tag on it but yes this was 30 i'm pretty sure this was 30 dollars at target they have these pretty much all the time but if you're looking to organize underneath your sink like i am then you may want to cop one of these if you can and see how it works the great thing about target is if you don't like it you can return it this is what it looks like up close and lastly from Target, I got more cabinet organizers for under the sink. Um, but these are the nickel like pull-out drawers. These drawers, oh, obviously. You can see these drawers come out. Again, it's giving me shelving and extra space so you can put your taller items up here, your shorter items, or even taller items at the bottom because this is a, a pretty tall space for maybe like shampoos or hairsprays or like taller bottles like that. I'm gonna put these under all our bathroom sink these look like they are going to work out better than that shelf I just showed you the expandable shelf but we'll see I got two of these I believe these were $19.99 each so about 20 bucks each which is not bad they're pretty good quality and again this is gonna provide a lot of storage space under your sink your bathroom sink your kitchen sink I'm specifically gonna use these in the bathroom and I love that they have these slide out drawers I wish they would build sinks with shelves. That would be so great. Uh, it's very rare that you see a sink with shelves underneath. I believe they have this brush nickel color and they also have bronze, I believe was the other color option. I got one thing from Amazon as far as kitchen decor. I have like a shit ton of stuff that I've gotten from Amazon over the past few months that I'm going to record future videos about. Uh, Amazon hauls or things you didn't know you need from Amazon, all this life changing, blah, blah, blah. I've gone Amazon crazy. But one thing I did get for the kitchen from Amazon was these glass canisters it came in a set of four i like how they have like the stainless steel top and then it's just glass here so you can see whatever the item is that is in it i think i'm just gonna put coffee and sugar in these coffee sugar maybe some rice but for now just coffee and sugar how much were these hold on i'm gonna tell you how much they were right now because it should still be in my order history so these canisters were amazon's choice and they were $28.80 for the set of four. And they are a pretty decent size. They felt like not cheap breakable glass. And I just like the modernness of it. I had bought canisters from, where did I get them? Home Goods, and they had like the wooden top on them. They were so cute. Uh, you might have seen a lot of people getting them, or you might have seen them in Home Goods already, but they're like clear plastic and they're like a rectangular shape and they have a wooden top. I had originally bought those, but I didn't like the look it was giving in my kitchen, plus they were kind of small. As to where these canisters provide more of a modern look, which I'm also sticking to, and they have the stainless steel top to go with my appliances as well. Um, so I just love these. They were very simple. Besides the home good stuff, anything else that I've gotten in this video, I will link down below if it is still available. The last few items I got are from Ross. I love me some Ross. You can find so many hidden gems in Ross if you're lucky. If you go in the mornings, which is the best time because that's when all the new stuff is out, you have first dibs on it and you don't have to wait in like a long ass line. So try to go to Ross early morning if you can. Home goods. Home Goods, Ross, TJ, Marshalls, uh, early mornings is the best time to shop at those kind of places. So at Ross, I managed to get my hands on a few OXO airtight containers. So I got three of these tall sizes here. 
Um, you can hold cereal, dried food, whatever the hell you want to put in them. You can put dried foods in these. So I'm using them primarily for cereal. This one just has some pasta in it. These I got for $9.99 each, which is an amazing price because usually these start at $18, I believe, for this size or $17.99. So I got these for $9.99 each. And again, I got three of them. I have pasta in one and I have cereal in the other two. So $9.99 for these. If you guys are into, you know, food and storage organization, you know how much these can cost. And Ross, I went early morning and they had so many of them. So I grabbed as many as I needed. I'll probably need more in the future, but maybe that's when I'll get like a set. And if you get lucky, sometimes at Home Goods, they have like the whole 20 piece set for like $80, which I should have caught the last time I seen it, but I didn't. I also got this smaller size right here. I have some cereal in here too, but I know... They have so many different sizes that you can use for so many different things. So I primarily just got what I needed. I was gonna put like crackers in here, but Benny had some leftover cereal, so I just put cereal in here. It looks so much nicer in the pantry than just having like cereal boxes everywhere. If you care about that kind of thing. I care about that kind of thing. So yeah, I got these at Ross. That was everything I got you guys for my home recently. Again, stay tuned for my kitchen makeover video because I will be posting that uh, after this video here. I hope I gave you some inspiration on decor pieces. If there's anything that I can link below, I believe it would just be the Amazon and Target stuff. I'll go ahead and link below. I'll link similar items on Amazon as well if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Chat with me in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Share this video with anyone who likes to watch hauls, especially about home decor. I love decorating and I'm definitely going to incorporate incorporate it more onto my channel. I'm trying to make it like a well-rounded channel, like beauty, like makeup, hair, home decor, lifestyle, just a roundup of everything, not just beauty. Cause I'm very much into home decor and I always have been, but I never really put it on my channel like that. Now that I'm getting older, I think that kind of happens naturally. I don't know, at least for me it does anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I always do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy decorating as much as I do. I cannot wait for you guys to see my kitchen makeover. I didn't realize I had so much crap. Like looking at my couch right now, I'm like surrounded by a sea of home decor stuff. And I love it so much. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.